Hi, I'm Dan Barker. I'm co-president of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. On a previous show, we spoke with jazz musicians Addison Fry and Tahira Clayton about their free thought views on religion. On today's show, we're going over to the studio to hear some of their exciting music. The Freedom From Religion Foundation, which produces Free Thought Matters, is the nation's largest association of free thinkers, that's atheists, agnostics, and other non-believers. We invite you to join us in our vital work to keep our secular government free from religious influence. Become a member at ffrf.org or ask for a complimentary copy of our newspaper, Free Thought Today. Freedom depends on free thinkers. Watch prior episodes of Free Thought Matters on FFRF's YouTube channel. And welcome back to Free Thought Matters. I'm Dan Barker, and I'm here in Audio for the Arts, a recording studio in Madison, Wisconsin, featuring, of course, Chip the Moose. And I'm here with Tahira Clayton, jazz vocalist, and Addison Fry, a pianist. Where the mirror meets the ocean cries out to embattled light spirit rising from the ashes of pain music lifted for righteous aim fallen sister fallen brother they face a world that turns a blind eye standing tall for those forgotten by time to blue compla we sing the simple rhyme teach me to lead the youth Teach me to seek the truth Teach what I thought I knew And all that I'm still missing Teach me the lore What came before Well, love On the hills that the children laugh and sing And dance as the drummers play As they summon the ancient pulsing of another day seeking to call their name with the joy of this refrain hear the sound of marimba bringing voices singing an honest tune with a passion unrivaled bringing healing to me and you learning to feel it too with the old comes the new and I stopped in my tracks what am I leaving behind? What am I leaving behind? To blow, come blow, we sing the simple tune for me and you. Stopped in my tracks, only to ask what 
what am I leaving behind? What am I leaving? What am I leaving behind? Wow, that was incredible. What's the name of that tune? So that one's called Tumaco. It's a piece of mine, and um, it was inspired by an experience Tigger and I both had touring. We were on a State Department tour just before the pandemic in Colombia. And we got paired with a local group, this group called Plu Con Pla, and their music was so infectious, they were so joyous, and against all the hardships that they face in their community, it really kind of, it reminded me about the essence of why we pursue music, what we're able to pass down to future generations, the, just the joy of it all, so that's what I tried to capture in a little tribute to them. Well, it sounds like a uh, like kind of a natural, not a hymn really, but a natural ritual or something about the importance of life or? Yeah, the group Plu Compla, they had this really cool um, like folk music. They were rooted in Afro-Colombian folk uh -huh. music. So I think you were definitely trying to pull in on some of those things. Funnily enough, we couldn't really speak to these folks. They didn't speak a lot of English and we certainly didn't <laughs> speak a lot of Colombian Spanish, but rhythm at the piano or at the marimba that unites was the all way of us. Yeah. that we wow. were communicating. So. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So we want to leave time for as much music as we can today because you guys are so, so talented. And uh, as our viewers already know, neither of you is religious. You were raised religious and you, mm -hmm. you gave it up. You told that story before. And we all know that religion has, been, has contributed a lot of beautiful music to the world. I mean, we think about so much of that moving human expression of religion. But a lot of people don't know that non-religious people as well the non, either the atheist, the agnostic, the secular humanist, or just the quietly non-religious have also contributed and written a lot of beautiful music, and you perform a lot of their tunes. Absolutely. For example, Cole Porter. Cole Porter had to come out of two closets, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. And uh, he, he, he revolutionary. <laughs> he wasn't shy about it. Do you, do you have a Cole Porter tune you want to do? Let's do uh, it. We'll play I Concentrate yeah. on You. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Uh, skies look gray to me and trouble begins to brew whenever the winter winds become too strong I'll concentrate on you when fortune cries nay nay to me and people declare you're through Whenever the blues becomes my only song, I'll concentrate on you, on your smile, so sweet, so tender. When at first your kisses I decline, the love in your eyes when I surrender. say to me two lovers dreams can never come true to prove to you that even wise men can be wrong I'll concentrate on you
tender when at first your kisses I decline. The love in your eyes when I surrender all at once our arms intertwine. So when wise men say to me to dreams can never come true too dear to prove dear that even wise men can be wrong I'll concentrate on you I'll concentrate I'll concentrate I'll concentrate I will concentrate I'll concentrate on you, dear. Wow, I love how jazz captures a moment that'll never happen again, mm. that performance, you know. The here and now. <laughs> well, we can watch the recording, but I mean, <laughs> it's just interpreting what's, what you're just feeling at the moment. And Cole Porter's material is perfect for that. His, you know, his depth of feeling and his imagination. So yeah. that was gorgeous. Thank you. Another jazz musician songwriter who, um, and I think you told me uh, Thelonious Monk was the first jazz musician on the cover of Time Magazine. Is that right? I think that's yeah. true. At least in the one, top one of a five, small handful, one of a yeah. very small handful. Yeah. But and, the first. And what a totally different kind of genius he was. And he was thoroughly non-religious. Mm -hmm. And he just wrote what he felt in the natural world. You have a, a monk tune you want to do for yeah. us? Yeah. We're going to do one called Ugly Beauty that I wrote a lyric to. So Ugly Beauty. Ugly Beauty. By Thelonious Monk. Yes. If you wait a mark left by a grand mistake will change a new
And we'll be right back with more Free Thought Matters after this break. Hi, I'm Ron Reagan, an unabashed atheist. When I first recorded that commercial back in 2014, being openly atheist in America was still fairly uncommon. Today, the fastest growing religious group in the country is the non-religious, especially among the young. That progress is heartening, but the religious pushback is fierce and the forces of Christian nationalism are well organized. Our progress won't continue unless we work together so that reason and our secular constitution will prevail. That's why I'm asking you to join the Freedom From Religion Foundation, the nation's largest and most effective association of atheists and agnostics working to keep state and church separate, just like our founders intended. Please join the Freedom From Religion Foundation today. Ron Reagan, lifelong atheist, not afraid of burning in hell. My name is Gabrielle Hanahara, um, and I'm an atheist because I believe in the power of doing good for the sake of doing good, and not because some divine entity tells you what is good and what's not, um, and not because you think it will get you into some sort of heavenly afterlife. Uh, I believe in human morality, um, which is why I think that most cultures across the world have come to the kind of same basic principles and values, such as the golden rule, which isn't based in religion, but is based in human interactions um, and mutual respect. And I think a lot of people turn to religion because it makes the choice of morality really easy, black and white, right and wrong, and you don't have to decide which is which. And in my experience as being an atheist through my life, I've found that um, moral choices are something that I think about a lot more than a lot of other people because nobody's telling me the answer. Um, and since I don't believe in an afterlife, pretty much my whole meaning in life is based on my interactions with other people and that I can leave this world a better place by my actions. And welcome back to Free Thought Matters. I'm Dan Barker here in Audio for the Arts with the pianist Addison Fry and the vocalist Tahira Clayton. And that ugly beauty was beautiful, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, a, what a gorgeous tune. So um, Kern next? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Jerome Kern, uh, one of the, I guess the father of American theater, musical theater, uh, who I think was one of the first to actually put key changes in his popular songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, one biographer I read of his said his, his religion was music and his lifestyle. So uh, what, what tune of Kern's uh, comes to your mind? I think we're gonna do one. This is actually the first standard I learned. Oh. It's called I'm Old Fashioned. I'm Old Fashioned? For the old yeah. souls. For the old souls. So you guys are old fashioned, but That's you can, right. okay. <laughs> well, let's hear Jerome Kern's I'm Old Fashioned. I'm Old Fashioned. I'm old fashioned, I love the moonlight, I love the old fashioned things. The sound of rain upon my window pane, the starry song that April sings. This year's fancies are passing fancies, but sighing sighs and holding hands, this my heart understands. I'm old fashioned, I love the moonlight, that's how I want to be, as long as you agree to stay old fashioned with me. I love the moonlight, I love the old-fashioned things The sound of rain upon my window pane Starry song that April sings This year's fancies are passing fancies But sighing sighs, holding hands This my heart understands I'm old-fashioned, I love the moonlight That's how I want to be As long as you agree to stay old-fashioned with me Sings. Oh, this year's fancies are passing fancies. 
sighing sighs, holding hands as my heart really understands. I'm old fashioned, I love the moonlight, that's how I want to be. As long as you agree to stay old fashioned, stay old fashioned, stay old fashioned with me. Well, that was not an old fashioned arrangement <laughs> of the song Old Fashioned by Jerome Kern. Uh, what an amazing performance there. So um, besides, um, we heard a song that you wrote uh, earlier, and um, a another um, composer is you, right? You've That's written right. some songs. A few. And w tell us about the song you want to do now. Uh, yeah, this is a tune um, from my first album called Wait Till Now. It's the title track. And it's basically a song about not procrastinating <laughs> that I wrote for my grandmother. It's a phrase she used to say when I was a little girl. You're going to wait till now to wash the dishes or wait till now to, you know, practice your song. It was sort of another way to say hurry up and get to what you're, get to what you're doing. Well, it's kind of like that song by Phil Ox about we better do it now right. while we're here, while we're alive, you know, because once we're gone, we can't, uh, can't redo all that. Exactly. And what's the name of the song? Called Wait, Wait Till Now. Wait Till Now. This mm -hmm. is Tahira Clayton and Addison Fry with their original song, Wait Till Now. Sunday came with a new dish to clean, content to leave chaos abound. In love, she pressed me with a sound. She said, wait till, wait till now. You're gonna wait till, wait till. Her words could mean a covert plan to reinstill a oh, a thought into my mind, easy to abide, help me read the signs, a chase for my life, and strength to guide a peaceful mind. Well, the mind's so free, it won't succumb to the listless waiting of the young. Grave is the mistake to remain out of fear that you won't be the same you're gonna wait you're gonna wait you're gonna wait until now you're gonna 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 wait you're gonna wait until now why don't you whisper the word word to the vim no pause for self-limits just give in to help allow yourself to be just who you envision you're gonna whisper the word word to the vim no pause for self-limits just give in to help allow yourself to be just who Underneath this mask and veil Are a million, million, million stories left to tell You're gonna wait You're gonna wait until now You're gonna, 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 gonna wait You're gonna, gonna wait, wait until now Wait. 
wait? Why don't you wait? You're gonna wait, wait until now. Wait until, wait till now. Yo, what don't you, what don't you, don't you wait until now? Wait till now, what a beautiful song. I guess we better do it while we're here, right? That's uh, right. Well, thank you to Hira Clayton and Addison Fry for being with us on Free Thought Matters. Our Thanks pleasure. for having us, Dan. Appreciate it. We'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah. And thank you for watching Free Thought Matters because Free Thought Matters. What don't you wait until now? you wait you're gonna wait wait until now wait until wait till now yo what don't you what don't you don't you wait until now hi i'm steve pinker in my book enlightenment now i show that the world has become a better place as reason has been overcoming superstition and tribalism but the values of the enlightenment are under attack that's why I'm a proud member of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, the nation's largest association of free thinkers working to keep state and church separate. Please join me in supporting the Freedom From Religion Foundation to ensure that our government is driven not by religion, but by reason.